Hello fellow space ninjas, I hope you are enjoying yourself on this fine day. JK, I don't give a frick litty frack about your life. Today, I will be talking about how to choose a Warframe for you, so that you don't end up playing like me. People will tell you some frames are really good and others are straight up garbage and if you play them you should be crushed by Hyaldron's thick thighs. So I have a few frames myself, I hate two of them, because they don't fit my playstyle at all, which means surviving without ever using my abilities. I would suggest checking how to play guides on the new frames you acquire to get a good grasp of their abilities before you jump in game. My favorite is Gera, as you can see her on the screen now. I like her for a few reasons, but you should make an opinion for yourself. The reason I like her the most, is because of her Splinter Storm ability, if you pair it with the Mass Vitrify and increase its damage when breaking it. After you have stored enough damage you can just walk to enemies and they will die instantly. Like me when I see Kanzu's face. I never use her third ability, because it's toxic waste and should be dumped into space, where it belongs. Here is a little bit of gameplay, on how I use my Gera. I had my Splinter Storm active and used Mass Vitrify, then smashed it to pieces which deals AoE damage, that also increases my Splinter Storm damage. You can see the amount of damage on the right side, above my ability bar. This isn't the only way to use this frame, I just prefer it like this and if you are not happy about it, you can go cry to Mama Lotus. Now for Inneros, he was the first frame I acquired when I started playing again a few months ago. I have modded him towards health, so he basically has too much health for what I do. Feels nice. As for his abilities, he mostly has crowd control stuff, but one tip I'd like to give you is. If you do end up losing lots of health, use your desiccation to throw sand in your enemy's eyes and finish them with your melee. Its passive will help you regain that lost health. This is some gameplay of how I use Inneros. I got him a big hammer, because it deals lots of finisher damage and it looks cool. His fourth ability gives you extra armor, but needs to be charged at some point, you can charge it up to 100% and then release it for some crowd control or just keep it, so you'll be even more unkillable. Wall Kitty is my second favorite frame, she's basically a crazy cat lady, whenever I need to level up weapons, I use her. The abilities you will want to use most, are War Cry and Paralysis. If you end up with low health, hit that fourth ability and just start slashing everyone's face like an angry cat, you heal instantly. Some quick Wall Kitty gameplay, I will be using the Galatine as my sword but really any melee works fine with this crazy cat lady, just pick one you like. So Oberon and Limbo are my least favorite frames, hopefully from my other explanations, you can kinda understand my play style and will notice that those two basically don't fit mine that much. Limbo is extra bad, because if you don't play him properly, your squad will hate you even more than artist bad puns. I won't be showing any gameplay, because every time I have to play a mission with those frames, my eyes start bleeding and I can't see what I'm doing anymore. Just test them out for yourself, you might like them. 
I have only just unlocked Excalibro, but I played him on the Switch a few weeks ago, and I already liked him, but I won't go much into detail for him, I would guess a big majority of you have already played him if you picked him at the start. For those who haven't, I don't care, he's easy to get, just test him out. At the start of the video, I told you to make your own opinion on the Warframe you pick and yet I started blabbing about those I use, as if it would interest anyone. I only showed you how you should decide yourself, pick a frame, play it to the max and drop it if you need the space for another one. Why play it to the max? If you level a frame it'll increase your mastery rank and you might end up liking it in the end, you never know. Now skedaddle out of here, I need to level my Excalibro, I want to reach mastery rank 10 to get the Amprex. As always, thanks for watching.